Okay. Uh, and we, as I said, we have one more topic, which I'm going to speak to because we have five minutes, and then um, it's a very simple one. Um, let me see. That will be suspend. Right. Yeah. I, I'm just so okay. I will speak to this one because you know I I don't want to uh, uh, I, I want to do, do it really quick. So the problem there is that when you suspend the system as a whole, drivers can ha have veto power on it. Essentially, in driver if if a driver returns uh, an error from its uh, suspend callback, the, the whole thing gets canceled, rolled back, and it doesn't suspend. And that's problematic if you have a laptop and you close the lead, and if one driver does this, then you think that the laptop has been suspended, which in fact it is not, and now you know the, the, the hell breaks loose essentially, and uh, and, and and now the question is what to do about that. So th there are drivers that do it every time, like when they when there is something wrong quote unquote, in, in one transition, they will return an error every time after that. And that's very unuseful. And now, you know, the, the, the whole problem is based on, you know, what to do about that behavior. Uh, should we ignore the errors from drivers in the suspend path or should we not? Or what to do? Uh, you know, I, and I, I have to say, I don't really have an answer. It's just a topic for discussion. So that's why I, I reserved five minutes for it, just to, to you know, to, 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 to state the problem and then, you know, let, leave it for discussion going forward. So I think the question to be answered is, uh, Say the user has asked to suspend the system, and now the fight is between the driver, a device. Is there a case where a device should ever override what the user asked for? If the answer is yes, it should have that power, and the answer is no, it should not have that power. Yeah, right. I don't know if there's a correct answer for this, uh, but I think that Something that I miss in terms of hard enablement is with S3, you had a big hammer to tell the sleep to go away. Um, and it'd be nice to have that back. And it's be nice to have some, some way to deal with hardware not coming back when you resume. So I, I think that, yeah, in terms of having a, a way to override a device uh, at the system level so you can not have you know, a system burning in your, in your bag would be really nice. Right, so, Kevin. So, and I guess the question here is what does broken mean? I mean, if it's, if it's broken, it suggests that it needs some quirks and that the, the system should override this and suspend anyway. But I mean, if, well, if it's broken, well, it means we can detect that it's broken. Yeah, well, so, so that the problem is that when error is returned, we don't really know if anything is broken at all or just the driver decided to return an error because, you know, it, he thought it would be a good idea to actually uh, terminate the suspend transition. We have no idea what's, what, what happened. So the common example we get is a, uh, a networking driver that actually failed to resume and the subsequent suspend, it goes, oh man, I failed to resume and I tried to reset my device and, and I'm broken. So it returns an error. It's like, well, it wasn't even working in the first place. <laughs> yeah, it's the, the, this is just one, one example, but there are more, and the, the behavior is similar. So they don't, they say, try to write to a register and they doesn't respond. What to do? Well, return an error. That's easy. Well, that, yeah, normally it would be easy. Reset device, reset device fails. Yeah, but in this do? particular case, it just messes up with the whole, you know, system power management. And that is not good, right? 
So again, the, the, there is a question for discussion. Like, what do we do anything about it? Like, if if we do something, then what to do, and so on. Oh, really trying to <laughs> to, to to get my attention. Uh, so uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's it. Because we have uh, we have uh, reached the, the 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 end of our time slot for the micro conference. So so with that, thanks a lot, everyone, for showing up. Uh, and thanks a lot to the speakers. Yeah, yeah. And thanks a lot to the sponsors again. And thank you to the volunteers, Raphael. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Thank you. And to everybody who helped to uh, you know to to have this conversation which was very useful i think so thanks a lot and see you next year if possible